Well, this ban applies to Russian oil, natural gas, and coal. The president's announcement comes as a bipartisan group of lawmakers over on Capitol Hill had been working on their own legislation. And it's also an issue that has growing support in the public. We've heard it as one of the rallying cries at recent demonstrations outside the White House. President Biden announced the U.S. is now banning Russian oil imports into the country. That means Russian oil will no longer be acceptable at U.S. ports, and the American people will deal another powerful blow to Putin's war machine. The administration had been reluctant to take the step out of concern over soaring gas prices, but the White House has been under increasing political and public pressure to enact the ban. Oh, a new national poll shows the majority of Americans, around 71 percent, say they support the ban, even if it means paying more for gas. As far as I'm concerned, gas prices are irrelevant. The only thing that matters is that we take a stand. The European Union is not expected to follow suit. Europe relies on Russia for about 40 percent of its energy. The United States produces far more oil domestically than all of European, all the European countries combined. In fact, we're a net exporter of energy. So we can take this step when others cannot. National security officials tell CBS News the U.S. is documenting war crimes against Russia, including targeting civilians trying to escape, as well as those remaining in Ukrainian cities. Russian forces are at the very least operating with reckless disregard for the safety of noncombatants as Russian units launch artillery and airstrikes into urban areas as they have done in cities across Ukraine. Civilians attempted to flee Ukrainian cities under siege using newly established safety corridors. Many more people are trying to flee but can't get out of besieged areas. There continue to be reports of shelling by Russian forces on agreed upon humanitarian corridors. More than two million people have made it out of Ukraine since the war began nearly two weeks ago. Now, back to the president's announcement a short time ago about the U.S. ban on Russian oil. You heard him say that he acknowledges, understands that many of our European allies may not be in a position to take this step. However, we have just learned that the United Kingdom says it will phase out importing Russian oil and oil producers by the end of the year. Maribel. Natalie, thank you for that live report.